Once upon a time, an old man and an old woman lived happily together in a little house on a little mountain. The couple had a little vegetable garden where they grew their food. One morning, when the old man went out to the garden... Oh! Oh! This is horrible! Who, who did this? The garden had been ransacked. The culprit was a badger who lived on the mountain. <laughs> From that day on, the badger showed up in the garden day and night. <laughs> hey! Huh? Hey, wait! Oh. Hey, stupid old man! I'm going to eat all the vegetables you can grow! Oh, 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 bad badger! The old man talked to the old woman, and they made a trap with a basket and a rope. Below the basket, they placed some grilled fish. Oh, smells good. Wow, chow time! <laughs> The badger went right for the bait. The basket dropped, and he was trapped inside. Gotcha! Your evil deeds are through! Drat, let me out of here, or else you'll be sorry. The old man tied the badger up and carried him home. Oh, this is the badger who's been ruining our garden. The old woman, who had been making millet cakes, stopped working and peered at the badger. Yes, let's tie him to the post in the kitchen. After tying the badger, the old man went back out to the garden. The badger seemed to calm down once he was tied. But really, he was trying to think of a way to escape. I know. I'll trick the old woman. And the badger started bawling. What's wrong? The rope's too tight and it hurts. I'll never touch your garden again. I'll do whatever you say. Just please loosen these ropes. Come now. Please don't cry like that. The old woman felt sorry for the badger. All right. I'll loosen the rope just a little. <laughs> so the old woman loosened the ropes a little, and the badger slipped right out. <laughs> Foolish old woman. Thank you. <laughs> you. You tricked me. Shut up. It's your fault for being tricked. Ouch! The badger shoved the old woman's back. Oh, ouch. Bye now, you old bag. <laughs> the badger stuck out his tongue and ran off. <laughs> After a while, the old man came home. I'm home. Huh? What happened? Oh, oh. oh my back. Oh. The old woman writhed in pain as she had been hit hard on the back. You poor thing. I know. I'll go to the mountains to get some healing herbs. So the old man set off for the mountains. While he was picking the herbs, a rabbit came hopping up to him. Dum dum! Hi there, what's up? The old man told the rabbit the story of what had happened. Unforgivable! 
like it even with that badger for you. The rabbit cut a bunch of dry grass and made a big bundle. Then he took some of the millet cakes the old woman had made and waited for nightfall. Night fell, and as the moon rose over the fields, <laughs> here he comes. Hmm, I smell millet cakes. The mischievous badger was lured by the smell. Hi there, badger. If you help me carry this bundle of dry grass, I'll give you some millet cakes. Really? That'll be easy. Ah. Uh. For helping you, I get all the millet cakes. Sure. Okay, let's go. <laughs> the rabbit followed right behind the badger. <laughs> the rabbit slyly took out some flintstones. And then, clack, clack. Huh? Did I just hear a clacking sound? Did you? It must be the clacking of birds. The sparks from the flint set the grass on fire. Crackle, crackle. Huh? Did I just hear a crackling sound? Hmm, it must be some crackling birds. Are you sure? Huh? Hey, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Too hot. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, that was terrible. When the badger got back to his den, he looked at the burn on his back in anger. Ah, that's ouch! Just then, the rabbit came to visit him with a jar. Badger, what a terrible thing. I brought you some good burn medicine. Yikes! That's the The badger jumped in pain. The medicine was really hot chili peppers and soybean paste. Good medicine always stings. Ouch, 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 ouch. You sure? You need nourishment to heal a burn. Let's go to the sea and catch some fish. Fish? Well, I'm sick of the mountains. The sea might be nice. So the rabbit and the badger went to the sea. I get the wooden boat. You take the mud one, okay? Okay. I'll get lots of fish and eat them all myself. <laughs> the two went off in their boats, and then... <laughs> ah! My boat is melting! It's the badger's melting! boat quickly melted away. Oh, 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 I can't swim! I can't swim! Help! All because of you, the old woman is hurt. You deserve to be punished. Oh, oh, I'll never do anything bad again. The badger managed to make it to shore and ran off in a hurry. After punishing the badger, the rabbit went back to tell the old man. Thank you, rabbit. How can I thank you enough? If you like, you can live here with us. Really? That would be great! After that, the badger never came back again. The rabbit helped the old man work in the garden. And they grew more vegetables than ever before. All thanks to the rabbit. The old woman's back got better, and the three of them lived happily ever after.